In September, two staff writers from the Observer Reporter were given the opportunity to go behind the scenes at the Meadows Racetrack in North Stravane Township. Reporters chatted with folks in the horse racing industry and sat alongside legendary harness drivers Dave Pallone and John Campbell during a sulky cart race. Uh, racing three horses tonight in stake races, mainly come on stake races. Uh, okay. If not, I'm back home uh, racing in my hometown, Harrington. Okay. Uh, I'm third generation, brought into it by my dad and his grandfather, and I'm just taking the lead now and doing my own thing, driving horses. My dad's a trainer. Uh, what's the, the biggest thrill that you had? Uh, probably at this track when in 48 and 1 with Custer the Dragon and the, uh, what was it, Adios Elimination. Tell me a little bit about that race. Was it a close one? Uh, I had a perfect trip. Sat in the two old, behind the best horse in the race, and then uh, around the last turn, I went right by him. And uh, the best race I ever won, best day, right, best race he ever ever did. Now, what is getting into the Hall of Fame in Pell? Is it, is it, you know, you have to win a certain amount of races? No, it's, uh, uh, for me, I think it's longevity. But uh, it's what you accomplished in the uh, horse business, uh, driving, training, uh, you know, just the uh, all-around uh, horseman. Uh, there's a lot of criteria that goes into it, uh, and a lot of great people are in the Hall of Fame. So I'm really honored to uh, be uh, associated with those kind of people. Like I tell everybody, the horses do most of the work. We have to do the thinking for them, that's all. I was chasing this beautiful 19-year-old girl. I was 31 years old. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think of some place to take her where I can spend two or three hours with her without being on a dance floor or in a bar or something. I'm gonna take her down the meadows for dinner, all right? Well, I came down here and she just fell in love with those horses. And I says, that's the key, all right? And I bought her a horse, neither one of us had ever had horses before, all right? Now we have a quarter mile track at home, five horses. I've got an A, a license. We get up every morning and take care of our horses together. Been doing it for 35 years. Great. There are so many highs, so many opportunities, so many, you know, great races. The nights when he comes home and he's so happy. Um, on the downside, it's, it's also there's so many bad nights where you expect to do well. You think you've got a great race card. You don't. And, um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's hard for them. It's hard to know. Like I told you before, there's no guarantee the purses. There's no guarantee that we'll come home and make money tonight. Every time there's a chance to either be a superstar or be nothing. And so that's hard. It's, it's, you know, it's, we have to support them and understand that there's some days where they don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, it's hard. So is this just uh, like a test lap we're doing? Yeah, well, we're just going to once around. So okay. So instead of it being a mile, it would be a 5.8. And uh, so that's pretty short for these horses. So we'll be going pretty good clip here for 5 eighths of a mile. And, and what's the what's race normally run? Is it several laps or is it uh, it's different one distance? And a, one and a half. No, okay. it's, it's a mile all the time. This is a 5 eighths mile track, so it's a little bit short of one and a half. Or a little, yeah. But uh, it's, uh, they, they're going between 30 and 35 miles an hour. That's moving. Is he? Oh, wow. I can tell you that much.